All right. And now there was that passport feller. And what led me to that video was, uh, was this individual and it's what they call a stitch. Mm -hmm. You see, that's that's what the new based youth is doing. <laughs> they're uh, they're stitching. Is that is that what they do? Yeah, I call okay. it stitch art, stitch work. Art, stitch work. Okay. Yeah. All right. And when and when they're talking about the manosphere, like a, I call it brochet. That could be like a, a RuPaul's Drag Race challenge: art, oh. stitch work. Stitch work. <laughs> now let's see. So uh, this was what led me to that one. This individual was responding to. Uh, that uh, silly man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You don't gotta jump through hoops and try to guess what they saying, right? But this is my problem. <clears throat> okay, I'm confused. I thought the passport bros were going to find wives and get married. To now it sounds like y'all just couldn't get pussy in the States and you're trying to get some there. And right, I think that's like a good, like a clown and shot, like if you're throwing shots, but Ah, like their thing is they want virgins or the closest thing to it mm -hmm. as much as the concept of a virgin exists. Mm -hmm. Like that's really what that is. It isn't that they're uh, unsuccessful. That's incels. Yeah. Or unsuccessful. God, see, following these, uh, re reading these oh. books and stuff, they keep using <laughs> the word success. And I, I don't like that word yeah. with that. Yeah. Yeah. But I also think it's um, the, with the way they act. Um because they're the ones who make a big deal about not wanting American women for some reason. Yeah. Like, with that. And so, like, even... So I think it, like, um, feeds a sort of incel impression. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's like, why are you, like, so angry about women in America? Like, why? Is it because they don't want to be with you? Like, so it, like, sort of automatically leads to that. Like, is a next step for a lot of people to be like, that must be what it is. Yeah, <laughs> that is, yes. She is responding like... But she... I. Yeah, like, I want more people to read Laura Bates. <laughs> and you're mad that you just as lame there as you are in the States. Ooh. So you wouldn't get pussy there. You don't want to pay for the pussy there. Here. You don't want to pay for the pussy there. You think that you go to Brazil and these places and they're just going to throw themselves at you? If you ain't, if you sorry, you just sorry. <laughs> 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 I mean, she's not wrong, but the way she said it. <laughs> you just are. It's true, though. And also, like, the age gap thing. Like, these guys, they complain yes, about the results queen. of their own age gap fetish. Yep. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck do you think 18-year-old and 16-year-old little girls want to come fucking sit down and be your wife? Mm. Like no matter how fly your shit is, right? Like especially if they're coming from like a background, yeah. Go ahead. If they're coming from a background where it's like probably intergenerationally, they're most likely gonna work in like a service industry, something heavily marginalized. And the best part of your life is the chance that you get to go out and party when you're off the shift and have your check. Mm -hmm. They want to go out and party when they're off the shift and have their check. They don't want to go be your wife. Yeah. Yeah, um, and shit, now I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> well, I would add, um, uh, my brain clicked right after I said that. I was like, so these niggas don't understand. They actually relate more to get online and antagonize. You're mm -hmm. corporate-minded and want to chill in a big house. And I guarantee you, this woman right here on the camera is corporate-minded and wants to chill in her big-ass house. She's got her natural hair. She's mm -hmm. chilling. She's the bomb diggity fresh. And y'all niggas hate her mm -hmm. because you know that she probably had sex before with a misogynist man that slut shames her to everyone that will listen to him talk about it. But you behave behave the same way and condone that behavior and hate the sociological results of it. Mm -hmm. I, I had a weird Well, because problem. they think that they should be exempt from the sociological results of it. Because they always think they're the alpha or they're like top dog or whatever. <clears throat> and that's not how it works. But, um, yeah. I was gonna say about the thing with the being their wives is there actually are um, some young women who want to be wives. Like, that they just dream about having babies. Like, there are. But they never pick those ones. Hmm. Because those women, because uh, I think this is a big part of their misogyny and their thing is that they don't, um, they don't want the available women, like even young women who are, you know, have had a relatively low number of sexual partners and the women who do want to be like traditionally feminine and stay home and have babies because they're in their ideology, you have to break a woman down. Mm -hmm. So like if she's already wanting that and that makes her happy, like you can't have it. 
because she can't really be happy. You have to take a woman who's like successful or independent and like break her down until she knows her place as a housewife. Ah. Because that's that's always that shit. Because like every time these past work roles are just the whole manosphere shit. Mm -hmm. Anytime they talk about these women, there's always women in the comments be like, but I just want to get married and have babies. It's like right there, pick her, pick her. She's begging to be faked. Pick her. <laughs> but they never do. They will tame the shrew. They exactly. And that's what the fuck it is. And that's their real fucking problem. And I want to add to that, too, um, with the ones that uh, that would be there, yeah, that do want them already. Mm -hmm. They see those more as something to ruin. Yeah. Right? Like, I would point to a Devin the Dude lyric. He loved making trash out another nigga's treasure. Yep. Right? <laughs> like, and that is a big idea behind playing these patriarchal games is you want to make as many women something that the next man wouldn't want to marry as possible yeah and then turn around and look and looking at a world where every other man did the same thing you did to every single woman yep mad at it just check homegirl out going to a different place don't make you less lame or less sorry or with less tongue game <laughs> like what did y'all expect hey i'm black Ooh, what? Oh, what up? oh, I can tell you what they expected. They expected to go down there, say, I'm American, thought that I'm American clout, American money was going to do the thing. That's exactly what the fuck they thought was going to happen. Which also, y'all niggas don't even speak Spanish. Like, is there a lot of first English of all, speaking happening down First there? of all, Brazilians speak Portuguese, and no <laughs> one is talking about that, and it's oh, driving shit. me up the wall. I don't even know that. <laughs> Like, all this shit in Brazil and everyone trying to speak Spanish. They speak Portuguese, goddammit. They got colonized by Portugal, not Spain. Ah. Um, <laughs> that's just, I know, that's just a me thing. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but no, that, um, they really do have that mentality that they can just go down there and, you know, they have their money and they're American and, like, because you keep hearing, like, American privilege, Western privilege, first world nation, all that shit. Like, that American exceptionalism is in their heads and they go down there, but you're still black. I don't know if you know this, but places that were colonized and had a slave trade have an anti-blackness problem. So being black and going to South America is not necessarily a guarantee that you're going to be treated well, even if you're American, because you're black. And then also, um, just like this underlying attitude about the whole thing and not understanding that you're still in competition with other men. Y'all are new to this shit. These new, like, particularly black passport bros. How, when was that Rush Limbaugh story? About him fucking having, like, the, the shit in his carry-on so he could go do sex tourism? How old was that shit? Y'all mm. are still in competition with white men. Do you not understand that? Y'all are in competition with men who come from generational wealth. Like, you can't go down there and play patriarchy games the way you thought you were going to because white men have been doing this literally since they were the OG colonizers. They've been doing this since the 1500s. And yeah, like, I know you're American and you speak English and blah, 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 blah. You have your American money, but you're still in competition with those guys. You're still com you're still coming in second, third, fourth, fifth place. Like, they were not expecting that, that because they've never been there. And all they heard of was all this getting gassed up about being American and having American privilege. And that's not how it fucking works. Shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing articles about it in 2011, 12, 2006. Uh, so... 2006. I mean, yeah, okay. if it's published in 2006, I wouldn't be surprised if it can even go a couple of years. Yeah, so like, and that was a huge public story when that shit broke, and that's literally what Rush Limbaugh was doing. So like, why do you think that, I mean, obviously Rush Limbaugh was not an attractive man, but you know, he was also from America. He also speaks English. He has way more money than a bunch of y'all niggas ever will. Like, yeah. let's just be honest. Why would one of these girls pick you over him? If we're doing that, if we're playing these patriarchy games, y'all cannot play these. Stop trying to play these patriarchy games, man. <laughs> like, but that. he's got on his muscle shirt. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck did y'all think was gonna happen? I mean, he is like, no, y'all, y'all act like y'all got a bunch of virgins. No, just because they're not virgins, don't mean they want to give it to you. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? I, <laughs> I ain't got no dog in this fight, but I have. It's just coming up on my timeline. You were lame before you left. Nobody was giving you pussy then. 
But y'all claim that wasn't it. Y'all claim that the women were so picky and they were just wanted all this stuff. So you gonna go and and, and these women gonna act right. No, that that ain't it. They don't want you either. <laughs> what did you think was going on? That's why I kept saying, show me the bitches. When y'all get the bitches, let me know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh jeez. That was a funny ending. Yeah, yeah, I think we ta we tapped the hell out of this one. Ugh. So that one that is like a double one cuz it was like his video mm -hmm. and her reaction to it. 